Hey there, everyone. It's Brendan here from the Crypto 101 team, and welcome back to another cryptocurrency tutorial. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you a brand new feature that TradingView just launched that allows you to trade directly from your Coinbase account, except on the TradingView interface. And I'm not talking about the Coinbase Advanced or the Coinbase Pro interface that is built into their exchange. I'm talking about actually on the trading view chart that you see right here in front of you. So if this does interest you, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on into this. Now, the first step in this process, and I'm going to go ahead and remove myself so that we can see everything, is by clicking on the trading panel button that is at the very, very bottom. In fact, I'm going to zoom out my screen so that we can see this. But if you go down to trading panel and you click on this, then it's going to open up a bunch of different brokerages and exchanges that you can use. Now, at the very, very top here, there is Coinbase Advanced. You're going to want to click on this. You're going to want to click Connect. It's going to bring you to a new screen here where it's going to ask you to approve this. You can enable uh, whether you want it to have access to your whole portfolio and all of your wallets and everything. I just went ahead and clicked both boxes. I'm going to click Allow Access. And then it's going to be, bring me back to my trading view. And now I'm actually logged into my Coinbase account. So from here, I can see my positions, my orders, my history, my account summary, my notifications log. And then I can see everything about my order once I actually place one. So let's go through this and actually place an order on the chart. So right here, you can see at the top, I have Bitcoin pulled up on Coinbase, right? That's going to be a very important step is make sure that you're actually on a Coinbase chart. But since I'm looking at Bitcoin to the US dollar on Coinbase, I can come over and I can find where I want to buy. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on my chart here, right at around $89,000. I'm going to right click, I'm going to click trade, and then I'm going to click create a new order. From here, I'm going to have this new interface on the right hand side of my chart, and this is going to allow me to do my different kinds of orders. So I want to do a limit order because I want to be buying in here and this is where I want to be um, accumulating. So I can toggle back between buy and sell at the very, very top. But again, I want to be buying down here. So I'm going to go buy, limit order. And then the cool thing is I can either type this in directly and say, hey, I want to buy at $89,000 or I can drag this little translucent bar wherever I want my buy order to be and it's going to go ahead and change. Uh, my numbers in my trade box. So again, let's just say that, hey, I want to buy around 89,000, right? We're going to get really, really close to it. And I'm going to leave it there. Now I can say, well, do I want to buy, you know, $1 of Bitcoin? Do I want to buy $10, $100? You know, do I want to buy $500 worth of Bitcoin? Well, you know, you can decide that for yourself. So say I just want to buy $100 worth of Bitcoin right at this $89,000 level. And uh, I want to make sure that I put post only on because this is a limit order. So I'm going to click the post only box and then I have the options to select a take profit and a stop loss. Now you don't have to choose this. Again, if you want to add a take profit and a stop loss, you can check these box and you can put these in here. You can do both at the same time and again, um, have all of these on your charts. But if you don't want this and you just want to be accumulating as a long-term investor, then you certainly don't have to. So now that I've gotten everything finalized, I can click the buy button here and I'm going to go ahead and look at all this and then click send order. And now you can see that it is officially placed on my chart. I have this buy limit for 0 0.01 or for 0 0.001 Bitcoin right over here. And again, I can drag this around the different locations if I want to. I can also go to the orders tab down here at the bottom and I can see that I have my Bitcoin USD limit order available. Um, and this is sitting here as well. I can see if it's been filled. I can see if it hasn't been filled and I can view a lot of the stuff that I need to. So if I go back over here to my positions tab, this would say, hey, if I was filled from this, it should pop up in my positions tab. And I'd definitely be able to see it in my history and my account summary and some of the other features as well. Now, if I do want to change to this, let's say, oh my goodness, I didn't mean to put it at 89. I wanted it at 79,000. Well, then I can drag this down here to 79,000 and it's going to say, hey, do you want to modify your order in any way? I'm going to click yes. I want to modify my order. And now, boom, my new one is on the books. If I go to the orders tab, I can see that my limit price has been changed to $79,000 here on Bitcoin. 
Well, let's say that market circumstances really changed and I don't want this at all. Well, I can go over here, click on the little red X. It's gonna say, hey, do you really wanna cancel this order? I'm gonna say yes. And now it has been deleted and it is no longer inside of that tab. So that's really all there is to it. Uh, logging in the Coinbase. And if you ever wanna log out, all you have to do is come back over here, click on Coinbase Advanced, click Log Out of Coinbase Advanced, and now I'm all logged out and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So again, this is a really cool new feature that Coinbase has added that allows you to trade directly from your Coinbase account on the home trading view interface and you can trade just about every asset that they have available on Coinbase Advanced. So thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like and subscribe button because we have a lot more content and a lot more tutorials just like this one coming out in the very soon future.